Pool life, it's the only life we know. Pool life, when you put it in the hole. Pool life, it's the cowboy show. Pool life, when you get that lucky roll. Hey pool fans, welcome back to another video. Stay tuned till the end because guys, I'm going to need your help. I've got a little something to ask you pool fans and it's going to help my videos moving forward. So stay tuned till the end. Okay, in today's lesson, I'm going to show you something you pool players need to be looking for when you're playing the game of pool. This is more when you're playing the positional shots, even when you're kicking or certainly when you're playing safe. This is going to shoot your pool game through the roof. This is a situation we are faced with. We're on the blue two and our next ball is the red three ball down there. There's no combination on the six and it only goes in two pockets. It goes in the middle and it goes in this corner where I'm going to pop the blue two. So what do we look for? First things first, the green six ball is shouting out at me, that is a dangerous ball. So we've got to be a little bit careful. As I said, it goes in here, it goes in the side. So roughly, positional play here is going to be anywhere in this circle to give me a shot at the side or the top. Guys, when we play pool, you might watch the world's greatest pool players play phenomenal cue ball control and keep landing it on that 50 pence piece or dime if you're watching in America. But... They're playing for areas. Looks nice. But they're giving themselves the best chance to land on that next ball. It's all about percentages. We've gone through percentages a million times in my videos. And this is no different. So, six ball is an issue. Right, I've just come down here for a second because this green six is the ball that is going to cause you guys a lot of problems. But it's not really a problem because we have to assess the shot we're going to play. Now, how many people would come off this second rail and try and come in this gap to play for the three in the side? The problem with that is you're bringing this ball into play and speed is very, very difficult. So, this video is about looking for the best percentage-wise on the position. So, we're going to look for lines. I'm just going to whack the cue down there. And this is the line I am now looking at. I want to go down this channel. So I'm going to put a couple of lines on the table. So we're going to have a think of parallel lines or a channel. It's up to you, however you want to describe it. But this is what I'm looking at. Because I'm looking to go off this rail, off the bottom rail, and behind the six. That is taking the six ball out of equation. As long as I know, I find this line. Obviously, if I start coming down here, I'm going to be flirting with the corner pocket. I could even scratch. And then, if I don't scratch... If the cue ball is here, it could sneak behind the six. That's why I'm picking this line. I'm behind the table, I'm having a look. My knowledge is telling me anywhere there, it's going to slide, bounce, and I'm going to have a shot on the three ball. So, let's put our channel back up on the table, or parallel lines, whichever way you want to describe it. And that is what I'm going to look for. I'm just going to double check and have one more walk round. And I've made my mind up. This is the shot I'm going to play down this channel, off the three rails, for a choice of two. Let's put it to the test, straight off the bat. So it's a little left-hand English. There you see, I've under it, first shot of the day. But you could see where I was going with that. Perfect line, six balls not coming in the way. On another day, cue ball bounces up because I'm more tuned up. I've hit a few balls, but that's a shot. That is all because I've picked the right channel on the shot. Just set a similar shot back up, just through the two and the cue ball back on the table because I want to demonstrate the difference be between finding the right channels or the right lines for the positional shot as opposed to finding the wrong line. So this time I'm going to play off here to try and come through this gap and stop the cue ball here or here. Now the problem with this is I'm coming across the line of position 
was where the previous effort on coming in behind the six into the line of position. So let me just show you. This is straight off the bat, no editing. So I'm trying to find this channel now, aren't I? Because I'm playing this shot wrong. And this should hopefully demonstrate, because believe it or not, the first shot I played before where I landed okay, it was the first shot I've played of the day. And it didn't feel good. But because I chose the right line, I left myself a shot. And then the more you practice, the more tuned up you are, the more you get into a match, the back arm's going to feel strong and good. So now I'm trying to find, I'll just put a piece of chalk there, off there, down this channel. And we're trying to stop the cue ball in this circle. Very, very difficult. There you could see, actually got quite fortunate, hit the six, but that just shows you how hard it is to find this correct line. If I didn't hit the six there, and it had come off here, cue ball was floating all the way down there. Got lucky then, but it's about percentages. Try and find the right channels, look for them lines, give yourself the best chance. Similar situation to the first, it's all about looking for our lines or our channels. I'm going to say channels, actually. No, I'm going to say lines. doesn't matter. You get the picture. So, three options. We've got a little bit of an angle on the four, but we can't force it round this way because the six is impeding the way a little bit. That's causing problems. So, we can either go off one rail back up using this into this big area. That is obviously our target. Or, I love this shot, off there, a little bit of left, and just leave yourself a shot on the five. That's what this is all about. So, why do we not play it off the one rail? Playing it off the one rail to come straight down, we've got to get past this eight. So straight away, that is causing problems in our brain. And also, if you overhit it, so you overcompensate, because you know you've got to get past the eight, the seven ball is a big ball. See it a lot. So, playing off the two rails with a bit of left-hand English... We're finding this channel, aren't we? This nice channel, there's the lines, a little bit of left, and just find your channel, like so. Watch the left spin. Again, it's only the second shot of it of the day, that's why I'm lacking a little bit of pace, but you get the gist. I'm finding my channel. Albion Ocean, somebody in tune with his game, well, he'd have just rolled up an extra foot, and it'd have been perfect. This is what we're looking for, guys. We're looking for these channels to give ourselves the best chance of running the rack. Now, I'm going to show you the shot off the one rail, and we can, we'll show you exactly what may go wrong if we choose the wrong shot. This is what goes wrong when you choose the wrong shot. So we're going to play it off the one rail. Two things can go wrong in this instance. This is the first one. Because we're worried about the eight ball, we under hit it, our brain is thinking naughty things, and we hook ourselves behind the eight, that is no good. And this is the second thing that can go wrong. Because we're thinking about the eight, we overcompensate, we hit the shot a little bit too hard, we also overspin the cue ball, cue ball tracks up, and it goes behind the seven. This is why when we're playing position, we literally, want to find them channels, all lines, and then the game's just easy, isn't it? We just get down, this is a little bit of English, not even really tuned up, not practising, and just swinging it in with a little bit of left, and you're never going to hook yourself on the five. Yeah, we might dog the five, don't get me wrong, but we're going to play a nice positional game of pool. Now, here we've got a safety situation. Obviously, the first things I've shown you in today's episode is about attacking the table and running out. But it's all about our lines, our channels, our tunnels, parallel lines, whichever way you want to look at this. So now we have this safety situation. We're on the pink four. We can't pop the four ball. It doesn't bang. The eight's in the way. The five's in the way. So we've got to play safe. So at first glance... You've got two options. We can chip off the edge, try and play the four in towards the six, send the cue ball round. Or we can bank the four up towards the eight, the side rail over there, and get the cue ball here. One safety shot offers far more value, far more percentages than the other. Which one do you think it is?
well it's banking the four over towards just after the side pocket if you like where this little circle is and getting a good cue ball why because of where the six and the seven is these two lines on the table that's our channel that is the big target now i'm going to show you what happens if you chip off this side of the four and try and get the four ball here so we chip off it we don't get a good four ball and where our channel is where our line as you can see on the video the cue ball has left a pot on the four that is because this gap in the middle of the two lines is always going to be on so that is very very difficult that is why banking the four that way using these two balls as our blockers is the best route let me show you so bank the four up there get the cue ball on the side rail and there you leave your opponent nice and hooked that is the difference when we're looking for these channels certainly on the safety shots let's look certainly where i've got the six and the seven two nice big balls where we can come over look for your lines always look for these lines and these channels when you're playing pool whether you're attacking the table or playing safeties the more you play and the more you start to understand this it will all fall into place and you'll start to see this coming up now i'm going to show you another situation but it's very easy and very obvious but it just highlights what we're talking about now this situation is going to simplify everything because i'm sure you're watching this video now and you're sick of me talking about lines and channels this is the last section of this video there's my lines now this is going to give you the perfect example of what i'm talking about if you've not got the gist but i'm sure you pool fans have now this is the target i need to be landing in seven ball cue ball this is one of the old famous safety shots where you split the balls either side luckily because i've put the balls where i want them the eight and the nine are big big blockers so if i get the cue ball in between these two lines and the seven ball in between them two lines i'm in a good spot now guys i know you're still going to play the shot well speed line feel touch how much pressure is on the situation but this is what you need to be looking for you look for these lines these channels on positional shots safety shots and you're going to start to see the game better that's what this is about better vision seeing the game of pool for what it is so here you can see playing this with a bit of right and english checking the cue ball up getting the seven exactly where i want it that is all down to me seeing the shot with the lines there's some examples for you pool players to start looking for when you're playing the game of pool whether it's attacking trying to run the rack out or playing safeties start to look for lines channels tunnels whichever way you want to call it that is a little guide and it's going to help you move around the table and in time it's going to turn you into a stronger player this is what all the top pros are looking for these are the little secrets they don't want you to know about guys if you've enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button oh and i nearly forgot i need your help the world pool championships is just around the corner we're just a few days away from starting i'm going to be down there i'm going to be in the studio in the comms box and well i've got free reign to get as much content as i want because i'm going to be there so in the comments let me know what videos you guys want to see i know the what's in the bags everyone seems to love them so i'm going to try and grab more players when i'm down there that's good for me good for you and it's good for their sponsors of course so i'm going to try and do more of them let me know in the comments what style of videos you want guys i'll see you soon